Hey guys, RC Jedi here. Um, this is going to be my review and drive of the Black Zon Slider um, Truggy, which is a 1 16th scale um, brushed um, version. You can get a brushless, which is basically a HBX 168890, or the um, Flyhull FC 600, which is the exact same underneath. But this one is brushed. Um, as I said earlier, this is a 390 brush motor. It does come with um, ball bearings throughout. So before we get onto the car, let me see what else you get in the box. So this is the radio you get. You get a 2.4 gigahertz radio. It does have a plastic steering wheel, not a foam one, which comes on the sliders, like the smiters, I mean. So you could film and drive with one hand, which is good. It comes with... Um, if you look right there, you have a steering trim and on your left and then a speed switch on your right. Oh, focus, focus please. If you look um, on the steering, it's got a steering reverse and the off and on switch um, right underneath the um, reverse switch. It does have um, a, three ch a third channel, which is the auxiliary, but for this car, it doesn't need it. It's probably for like the... Um, HBX Transit and the Thruster, like those come with a, um, a three-speed transmission. And yeah, this is a good controller, like ideal for young people starting off in the hobby. It's not a bad controller. So I no no antenna to snap off. Very lightweight. It only takes two AA batteries, two AA's. So yeah, this is that's the Black Zons controller that you get with the money. So let me get on to what else you get in the box. So in the box you get the instruction manual. Um, you get a, a tool wrench, but I'm pretty sure um, you don't. I don't know if you get one if you buy it brand new, but I've had this one for over a year. So you also get um, a screwdriver to work on the car. You do have... Um, you do get four body clips, spare ones, in case you lose the ones that come on the car. And also, I'm pretty sure you get this uh, metal um, four-way hex, like wrench. I do love these because some of the WL Toys cars, you get plastic ones, and I prefer metal. I'm pretty sure you get, but this is a good little four-way wrench. Like, gets the job done. You can get the tires and wheels off easy, and yeah, so that's a good, that's a good, um, idea like for a lot of these entry-level cars so in, so i recommend if you if you are actually experienced into the hobby i highly recommend getting um one of these i highly um i highly recommend one of these like for your first um like car like first um go for this instead of plastic so that's the wrench you get and then here's the manual um, it's a very detailed manual, like, you get, um, you get all the warranties, or also, a, this is a hobby-grade RC, so you can buy all the spare parts, just look up the part numbers, yep, there's the parts list right there, it's all you need to get it going. You can get, um, upgraded parts, like, from the HBX version, so you, this is what you got to do. You gotta maintain the you gotta maintain the car to look after it. And it yeah, it tells you all about the headlights. So I highly recommend reading this um manual and you gotta put the wing on yourself. You gotta put the wing on yourself. It comes with a sticker sheet. And then all you get yeah, you do have a USB charger. But um I don't um have that with me. Like I do have it at home, but um so yeah, this does come with um, this does come with all the accessories that you get, but you get a spare body clips and that as well. So I am at my bash location, so that's why I didn't bring the USB charger in that. So yeah, I highly recommend um, I highly recommend um looking at the manual. So that's what you got to do if you're um new to the hobby and so you don't hurt yourself. So yeah, that's the um manual for you. So. Let's just look at the truck real quick. Oh, yeah, sorry. You, you got the the main competition for this car, the main competitions, is the um, HBX 16889. Um, you got the Traxxas E-Revo 116th scale. 
the MGX Hyper goes. You also got the um, also the um, HSP um, Trojan Hunter Kit King truck, monster trucks. You also got um, a lot of other RCs like WL Toys might be making 16th scales. There's also a lot of other 1 16ths out there you can buy. This does come with 12 millimeter hexes. But these um, are screwed on with a screw, but you can take them off with the um, included Allen key or four-way hex. And if you look um, on the um, if you look on the front bumper, it does have LED lights. It does have them, so you can run this car at night. I will power it up um, later on, like soon, in this video to show you the lights. It does. Um, you do got to put the um, spoiler on. It's only held on by two screws, but sorry that i sorry that this car is buffed up but i've been driving it around lately i've been i've used it a few times i've taken it to the skate park and nothing on this car broke so yeah i'm planning on uh, making this one brushless later on and making it like the fly hull fc 600 um like specs like running gear i'm planning on making it like that if the mo brushed motor does die i did um I did burn out the original motor that came with this, so I'm still running the stock motor. This is the second motor I put in on it. It does um, top out around 24, 23 kilometers an hour, which is not bad for a brushed truck entry level. It is a bit, it is a bit slower than um, a few other cars on the. It is a bit faster than the HSP Hunters and that. It does do pretty well off road, like it is one sixteenth scale, so you won't be able to take it in. Or a lot of grass and that so it is a good little a good little 1 16th scale basher like for the money for under a 150 bucks around there it might have gone up a little bit I bought this car in 2022 last year I think it was like almost this time last year I bought it I think it was like 2022 I did buy this one so let me look under the body real quick also I did um duct tape the body shell to make it last longer so so yeah, this is why the body hasn't um, been split up. And yeah, and yeah, the body has been split right there. But I did duct tape it up. I did duct tape the body shell. So so as, apart from that, there's no um, cracks. The body's still in good condition. It's only been scrubbed up like a few times. So yeah, um, so that's, it looks um, more aerodynamic than I've had. I do, and now to the chassis. So this one is basically the exact same platform as the HBX um, model, like the HBX version. And yes, you do have the lights on. You do have the headlights in the bumpers, and which is, they're very bright. Oh, sorry about that blur. And this car does come with a two-in-one ESC and receiver. So yeah, but it does come with a three-wire steering servo. Thank you guys for that, because... If you want to later make this car brushless in the future, you don't have to replace the whole um, electronics. Like, you can still keep the steering servo or vice versa if you just want to change the steering servo for a little bit more power. And you do have a 390 brush motor for heat sink on it. It does come with, um, uh, I'll look at the battery real sec. It's a 800 milliamp hour two cell Lion pack. Um... Yeah, it's a, it comes with a Dean's connector, like, it comes with a Dean's plug, which is mostly common in, like, cheaper buggies, like, 116, 18 buggies, also 1 tenths. And the battery is held on by Velcro, so it's easier to get the Velcro in and off instead of rely on body clips and stuff. And yes, all this car is, um, plastic, most of it's all plastic. You do have, um, it is all plastic unfortunately but for the price point it is better than metal like in some cases like i never had any problems with this one breaking at the skate park it's not fast like it is good for the beginner but you can get um it just this car does come with ball bearings it does come with ball bearings throughout which is good it does have um the shocks on it are just bouncy you can get the upgraded shocks for it like i'm gonna make this one brushless in the future when this motor does die if it burns out i'll make it brushless and keep the um esc receiver and the this controller for another car that i might make from scratch 
Like I might do it, I might make a HSP model or something, or I might make the HSP, um, HSP, uh, maybe a, who knows, like, so yeah, this is, um, the chassis, like, underneath it is plastic, like, it's got a few scuffs, because it's been to the skate park, but you'll get the idea, when you get your one, it won't be as beaten up, like, this is, um, me using it, I had this thing for o almost over a year now, and so far, I never had to replace any parts on it yet. Like, I did, I had to replace some parts because they were wear and tear, but not like A-arms and gearboxes and stuff like that. Like, I never had to replace any um, parts. Like, the motor did burn out, but that was wear and tear. Like, I never had to replace any, like, suspension or shocks or etc. Like, it's a very, it's a very durable RC out there. It's... I'm pretty sure it's still one of the best beginners on the market, so yeah, so I'll, I will power this car up and I'll take it for a little drive to see how it runs and show you guys, so yeah, let me get this set up real quick. Oh, I did, I did, um, for the price point, um, yeah, so this car is very quick, so yeah, let's just drive this thing around real quick. It does do donuts pretty well on gravel and that, so when you take it um, through gravel and stuff like that, it is very, it's very, it's very fast for the price. See, it does do, it does have the power to do donuts. You just gotta, um, you just gotta find the right um, terrain. Here it is off-road, it is an off-road truck, so it's not doing too bad on grass, but you just gotta find the right, um, grass it's got it's got power to ro roost some grass like i've seen videos of this car run like it's it's very quick it's the suspension's not too bad oh two wheeled it oh yeah it does do too it doesn't do too bad oh it does it doesn't really it doesn't handle that bad actually it does it does do pretty well. Like, the tires on it are okay. I'm, I'm definitely gonna probably get make this. I'm probably gonna get the brushless version too. Whoops! I flipped it over. It does traction roll quite easily, so I'll flip it over. See, so, yeah, that's it does traction roll, but you gotta turn sharp. It's an empty basketball court or empty car park. Even though this thing is not one of my fastest cars, but it's still fun. Some of these cars you could, some of these RCs like are very quick, like, like for the price, like, for for the price you pay for this thing, it's not doing too bad. Here it is on grass. Oh, it almost hit a tree. Oh, it's not doing too bad off road. It's not doing too bad off it's not doing too bad like it does drain the battery out a bit it's not doing too bad on off-road like for a grass on the grass it's doing okay if you have like a backyard with this grass this truck will be very good for it like being a 390 brushed motor it is very quick not quick not like an e-revo or mini e-revo or slash it does do pretty well it does um what do you expect for the price? It's not like an E-Revo where it could just do standing backflips like a, the Merv. Oh, I was trying to see if I can backflip it off the... This. So yeah, the, um... Yeah, so I better wrap this... I better... Oops. I better wrap this re review up. So let's go into the final thoughts. So yeah, this is, um... Yeah, this is, um... A, the Black Zone Slider 116th um, truck. It is brushed. You can get brushless version, as I said from the earlier in this video. You can get um, you can get um upgrades for this one. You can make it faster, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make get the running gear off the Flyhal 600. Make this thing a fast little basher. Like it is, it is fast enough for young people to have a go and get into the hobby. But for the price point, it's not bad. It is appropriate for this buggy or truggy. It is a truggy, but 
I reckon they might make a buggies off this chassis because it is a very good chassis. I'm pretty sure they might make a buggy because I'm pretty sure they will. If they do, I might probably try that. Like maybe get another one and make it into a buggy or a mini short course truck. I might see if I can get a 118th short course truck body to fit. I reckon it'll probably do well. I reckon it'll probably look cool. I reckon, um, so yeah, this is, um, the Blackson slider, um, this one does come in around, um, $140, $50 Australian. It just depends on whereabouts, like, it might be on sale, or, it just depends, like, the price of everything's going up, but I bought this a year ago, and, so yeah, this truck is a very good little car, and if you want me to review any other RCs like this, like, do you want me to review any more budget friendly RC cars or because I did a video last night on the um like scrolling on Banggood I was on banggood.com and I found some good RCs that I might be able to review for you guys and there's some expensive ones like for those that have been in the hobby for a long time and I am going to try and get myself an expensive one first because I haven't reviewed an expensive one on my channel like like, the only ones I had so far are, like, budget cars, like, for entry-level newbies and, like, including this one. This is a good RC for the for the, for the the money you get. Like, it's not going to be fast as, like, a Mini E-Revo or something like that. But for a price, for the price, you get a good, you get a good start-up car. Like, if you don't like, if you don't like RC, you can sell this for a good price point because these are very popular. Like, I've seen a lot of people make this thing go very fast like they go for the brushless version and also in wa like perth west oz rc i've seen some of his videos like he's he's done he's done a lot of videos he's made his one go like very fast it's he's got the hbx version but so yeah this is um the blacks on um slider so any rcs you want me to review leave them down in the comments and i will try and um do another follow-up video on it on this one and some of my other cars like i might do a, a video for each of my cars in my collection possibly and so yeah this is um the blacks on slider review and this is rc jedi signing off subscribe everyone and this is me rc jedi signing out bye